Hello and welcome to the fourth Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 tutorial. I will be teaching you about if statements, labels and text boxes, but this is mainly if statements, but we're just going to combine it together. Let's go ahead and create a new project, we'll name it if statements. And then, okay, so I'll just explain it briefly. An if statement is it's first you have your if statement and then you could say if the ball is red then message box the ball is red if the ball is blue message box the ball is blue etc it's it's just the logic part of visual basic and it's quite easy to understand and it's going to help you a lot in programming so the example here I'm going to use is quite advanced for anyone who is new to Visual Basic so just try and follow it along. You're going to add a label and then a text box from the toolbox and then we're also going to add a button. Okay to start off we're going to set the we'll set the button text as execute. First of all I'm going to show you how to change the text for label and then I'm going to show you how to do it using the if statement. So double click the execute button and you have button one that click, hand button one that click, which you already know what that is. And then once you click that button, you're going to type label one dot text equals I am a VB Pro now. So basically what this is going to do is when you click button 1 it's going to, ch going to change the text of label 1 to I am a VB Pro now. Let's test that out. So we'll click execute and this label changes to I am a VB Pro now. Okay now we're going to use a advanced if statement. We're going to change, delete this here and if that didn't work just watch it over again and there might be an error in your syntax or you might have, you know, spelled something wrong, but now we're going to change it using the if statement. Now, for, to start with if statement, you simply type if. That's going to tell the application that you're going to use the if statement. Now you have to type, well, if what you, you need to de decide what you want the program, what what has to be, what has to be positive for the program to execute the code. So we'll do if text box one dot text equals hello then and what this basically doing is it's saying if the text inside text box one equals hello then and then in the next line well in between the next few lines you're gonna type the code you want to execute. So you're gonna put label one dot text equals world. Let's just go over that again. It's saying if the text of text box 1 is equivalent to hello then it's going to change the value of label 1 the text in label 1 to world and then end the if statement. So this is text box 1 and this is label 1. So first of all we're going to play this and so we have our if statement in place so if we click execute see nothing happens and if we type hello, it's going to change label one to world. That's because the if statement said if the text inside text box one is hello, then label one text is going to become world. Now this may seem very pointless right now, but once you get really into coding, again, this is going to help you a lot. You just need to understand how this works, what you can use it for. And I'm going to be creating more advanced examples uh, in later tutorials. So that's it. Please comment with any suggestions. If you have any questions or if you want to request a tutorial. And also rate the video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials.